Oh, Emerson is solely focused on the development of the Chemiset potash project in Morocco. Um, and that, that really is the standout potash project um, in the sort of junior mining space at the moment. It's very low capex because of a combination of the, of the geology and the location and very low operating cost once in, in production and will be, be right down at the bottom of the cost curve. And that again is, is largely due to the geography, closeness to a port and access to all of the major markets. So it really is a standout potash project out there at the moment. The project, the Chemiset project, is a very large and important piece of foreign direct investment in Morocco. And only recently Reuters did an update, put an update on the project out, and this was immediately picked up by three local newspapers. And it's really big news in Rabat, the area where we're going to be aiming to start construction in around 12 months' time. We're looking at creating just under 2,400 jobs during construction, and once in operations, there'll be 1,200 permanent jobs. And when we talk about permanent jobs, we mean, you know, we have a mine life already of, of around 20 years, and we fully ex expect to extend that by at least another 10 years once we're into oper operations. So it makes a big difference. In the Rabat area, we'll, we'll increase the GDP by 40%, and it's fully aligned to, to what Morocco as a country are trying to do, which is develop the mining industry. They don't want any ownership in the mining operation, but to foster investment from outside, they've put in very low royalties, and also a five-year tax holiday once into operations, which, which helps the payback for companies. And our project fits to the main GDP driver in Morocco, which is agriculture. In 2006, they put in a, a Green Morocco plan, which was a $2 billion investment to encourage increased agriculture, increased cultivation, irrigation projects, modern farming techniques, and also the use of fertilizer. There's around 65 million tonnes of potash mined produced every year, um, with an increase in the market of around 1 million tonnes per year expected going forward. The market currently, it's, it's really an oligopoly. There's three producers account for 60% of production, and only nine producers account for 90% of the supply to the market. So the result of this is there is, is a, a level of management of supply to meet demand, and therefore a certain price discipline. We actually believe that the price probably bottomed, the price goes in cycles, but it, it bottomed in 2016 and will continue to, to steadily climb somewhere north of $300 a tonne where it'll, it'll settle in the medium term. And that really suits us, that suits us very well. We'll make a lot of money uh, with the price at that level. Most of the big nine potash producers are also integrated fertilizer producers, not all of them are, and also some of the big fertilizer producers have to buy their potash from the very people that they actually compete with in the fertilizer market. OCP, the parastatal giant in Morocco, 23,000 employees, they account for over 30% of the world's supply of phosphates, and they want to make MPK fertilizers, but they don't have the K. They import at the moment around 800,000 tons of potash into Morocco every year. So, you know, that gives us a very strategic position in terms of the potential supply in country. And the further down the food chain with uh, fertilizer blenders and traders, they would all love to be able to get their hands on a supply from an independent producer outside of the oligopoly. So that again gives us a real strategic importance. We have this huge potential uh, with the strategic importance of the project, as I've said, in terms of the market, the location. The next step is to turn that into reality, and that is actually by building the mine. And I've joined the company this year with experience of operating and, and, and building, building mines, and, and re this is the target now. We're going to build this. And this actually turns that potential into real value, real value for the shareholders. We have a, a, a big advantage with this project because we're low capex. An example of a fertilizer project that has been in the news a lot over the last few years, the Sirius Minerals project, that's quite a large complex construction project, two deep shafts going through aquifers, a 36 kilometer long tunnel, and a capex bill of around $4 billion. That is 10 times the chemisec cost. We're only around $400 million to build this, build this mine. So it's a much less audacious project and it's much simpler. In terms of, of, of potash as a whole, the, there's, the fundamentals are there. We need increased levels of food production to, to feed the world. The only way to do that is with, with better agriculture, using fertilizer in the right proportion, 
Um, and so there's going to be an increasing demand. There's an increasing demand for potash. The Emerson project is low risk. It's a very simple construction. We're very shallow. We've got two simple declines down to the ore body, no aquifers to contend with. The geographical location gives us a, a, an excellent advantage, closeness to a port and from that port close to all of the major potash markets. We've been moving at a really good pace over the last few years and we continue to do that and our target is to be starting construction the end of next year. So we're rapidly moving towards realising the true value of this project.